Shalom, Israel. It's Preach Shakal. First and foremost, I want to say, Ka Hala Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Double Honor Shai, the apostles of GMS, the elders who rule well, and Brachadam Nau Yuakim, this out there is pushing his truth and the sincerity and the strength of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. This is GMS Stop and Listen. Coming with a, um, you know, a quick scripture. You know, just trying to further the truth any way we can. You know. Um, this is uh, the book of Ezekiel. Nine and four. It says, And the Lord said unto him, He's talking to Ezekiel, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay, I'll read that again. It says, The Lord Yahweh said unto him, So it was a, a commandment, a commandment that uh, he was appointed to say, it was like a commandment. He said, Go through the midst of the city, go amongst where all the people are. Right through the through the township, it says, "Go through the midst of Jerusalem." Jerusalem is a people before it's a, a, a place, you know. You know, I'm, I'm gonna get that scripture. It's a, it's a people before it's a place. Uh, this is Hockerberg. It says second Maccabees chapter 5 verse 19 nevertheless the most high did not choose the people for the place sake but the place for the people's sake so it's a people before it's a place right it says go through the mist the Lord said Yahweh said unto him go through the mist of the city the mist of Jerusalem so he said go through the uh, township and where all the people are. And I'm going to back that up with this scripture here. Proverbs 1 and 20. It says, Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse, in the opening of the gates. In the city she uttered her words saying, so chief place of concourse, that's what everybody do business with. That's what everybody is a uh, Commercing back and forth, you know. Normally, it's a, a downtown area close to it, right? So we were commanded to go there and, and, and uh, utter out this wisdom: cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And it says, verse four, nine, Ezekiel nine and four. And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark. That word mark right there is uh, thawa, thawa meaning uh, exemption from judgment, right? It's not that, uh, it's not that mark, karagma, meaning chip. This is, you know, this is a spiritual mark. So when they hear this word and they receive it, it would be exempt from the judgment of uh, nuclear destruction and martial law and, and race riots, you know? And it says, set a mark upon their foreheads for the men that sigh and cry. When you, somebody's sighing and crying, they're groaning and moaning. You know, they're bewailing, they're in lamentation. It says, for all the abominations that be done in the midst of, for all the uh, filthy, disgusting, moral acts that be done in the midst of, some of, the, of those uh, abominable uh, acts and works. You know, Esau has out here, he's poisoning the water, he's poisoning the food, right? Um, unrighteous just unrighteous decrees that they put out going against the nation of Israel you know uh, allowing these homosexuals to run freely to get married to adopt children these are ab abominable and immoral um, deeds man you know uh, taxing Jake 
on everything higher than five pennies. I mean, it's it's all and more. That's America, man. That's the way of America, man. It's Babylon the Great, you know. So we we must go out and push that word to the people who who sigh and cry, you know. Sign one one um, example: sign and crying. You have you'll have Jake's come up and they be crying that King Jane, like man, they have been tampered with. So that's sign and crying because yeah, Esau did tamper with the Bible to some effect, but they don't make it not true. So they're sign and crying for that abomination that Esau done. So that's that's our job as men of the Lord, man. We commanded to go out, you know, on the highways and byways, man. You know, go out and push this truth, man, to them those people, man. And those people are going to be the elect anyway. You know, they're not going to be two thirds yet. You know, the elect when they when they sigh and cry and and, and we and we and we um push this word through our sincerity and truth through the spirit, they're going to hear it, man. You know, they're going to get that exemption. That that being exempt, they're going to get that mark. You know, in their forehead, they're going to hear it, and they're going to get it in their mind. You know, the elect, they're going to be exempt from judgment, man. I'm gonna read that scripture again, man. This is Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, through the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of, you know, and with that, man, all praise be to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, double honors to the elders, apostles, GMS, Brachat Thumb, now you archivists out there pushing this truth. Sincerity and strength of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. GMS stop and listen. Quick scripture, man. Just trying to follow the truth, man. In the spirit, stay in the spirit. Keep your faith, brothers. Keep praying. We're almost out of here. Shalom.